Hello and welcome. Today's video is a little bit different. I am super, super excited about this video. I have a surprise. Meet Rogan. You can't, you can't really see him. This is Rogan. No, no, no. Rogan likes tea. <laughs> So Ro is a Rottweiler cross Labrador. You might think that this is a super random choice, but I can assure you this was very much done on purpose. Um, reason being is I once had the most amazing dog that completely changed my whole life, and his name was Alf. Um, I'll be forever, forever grateful for Alf. He passed away so sadly last year, um, way before his time, um, and he really was the most amazing dog you could ever, ever dream of having. Went to, went to go and visit him, and I can't lie, it wasn't the best of conditions. Um, the lady was heavily pregnant. She had about three, four other children in the house running around anyway. She had, uh, I think, two or three other dogs, um, as well as the, the mum, who was a Rottweiler, and they had, I think it was 11 puppies. So there was... There, there, there was almost 15 dogs running around in this house, but about four kids and a, a, a lady that was about to have a baby. So it was, it was uh, pretty intense. Um, walked in and all I was going to do is put a deposit on a dog, maybe. And um, I'm holding this dog in my arms, a lot like I'm holding Ro now. And um, I looked at my dad and I was like, Dad, this, this is the one. This is the one. Um, and uh, then... I felt my, my shoe go. Um, there was a dog pulling at my laces and it was Alf. I was like, right, he's, he chose me. Um, so it was Alf, I was like, look, I'd like to put a uh, deposit on uh, this dog here um, and uh, come back, because it was only seven weeks at the time, and come back in a week and pick him up. I had nothing, I had no lead, no food, no bed, no, nothing. It was only a, pretty much only a thought of this time. And um, the lady literally begged me to take him. And I was like, look, I've, I've only got like, I, I can't remember, it was like 30, 40 quid in my pocket. Um, I was only maybe gonna put a deposit down. And um, and she was like, I don't care. I'll take that, just take him, please. And I was just like, obviously I was super excited, so I didn't care that I wasn't ready. I didn't care that I didn't have a lead or anything else. Um, I was just like, yes, dad, can I, 100%? Uh, and I, I, was, I was in. I got this dog, I fell in love. Um, and then, a few months later of course, uh, but I had a motorbike accident. Uh, couldn't walk, couldn't work, definitely couldn't train. Um, and while I couldn't train, while I couldn't work, while I couldn't do anything, um, Alf was just coming into his adolescence. He was a bloody nightmare. Anything that a dog does wrong, he was doing it. He was chasing cars, he was barking at people, lunging on the lead. Um, it wasn't great with dogs, kept on trying to hunt them. Um, I've never had a dog with worse re never seen a dog with worse re it was, he was bad. Don't get me wrong, was so social, like he was, he was a nice dog, but training wise he was bad, he'd jump all over people, he was terrible. And um, so I started to train him, just in my spare time, while I couldn't work, um, and that's where the story started. I absolutely fell in love with it, and for so many reasons, uh, he was just, he, he was my rock. He was the best dog I could have, I could have ever asked for. Um, now, Ro, I know he's different, but I thought, wouldn't it be amazing if I could honour the dog that changed my life and, um, and, 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 uh, and get a, a Rotador, get a Rottweiler across Labrador. Not to replace Alf, it's impossible. But the way that I see it is, Alf was so good, why wouldn't you try and, and, and create that again? Why wouldn't you try and breed the same characteristics from the same breeds to get the same kind of mix, the same kind of looks? Um, that was my thought process. Uh, irreplaceable. He, he was the most amazing dog ever. I doubt you'll even get close, buddy. But I can literally raise this dog with you. I'm going to be able to capture the steps, the training, all the little bits that I do uh, to create what Aegon has actually turned into. 
Um, so the focus that I always rave about and always talk about, you're gonna see how I start from literally nothing, the dog doesn't even know how to look at your eyes, yes. to be able to have them look at you, focus, ignore distractions, in the most challenging environments. Um, and I'm gonna walk you through every single step of the way and go through all the troubles, because there will be troubles, um, you can't avoid that. But in honor of Alf, Roe was the next dog for me.